Ah, uh, yes. Starlito Buttermilk here, and you've caught me in the middle of my favorite book, The Ties in Life of a YouTuber that everyone steals from but never gives credit to. By me, Starlito Buttermilk! But anyway, at any rate, don't worry. Nothing for you to be concerned about, nothing to see here. Mike Wong has spoken about some things in NBA 2K21. There's going to be some major shooting changes. There's going to be some changes that people will like and they won't. People like me that use the short stick will like it. The people that don't use the short stick, they may hate it. But there are some changes that need to be made and they must be made. We'll be talking about all of those in this video. If you want to see me actually play the game, go back and watch the video that I put out this morning. It was a ravishing time. I had a riveting time on the park. Raging with randoms with your boy Stalito Buttermilk. But if we can do anything, let's get this video here to a thousand likes and we'll put out the jump shot video and the badges and my complete center build. It's going to be an awesome time! 1,000 likes in the first 24 hours and if you don't like it for anything else, just like it for me, Starlito Buttermilk, because I am the greatest 2K YouTuber to have ever graced the sticks. 1,000 likes as quickly as possible because you know that YouTube directly links my videos being seen to guess what? The like button. I never asked for it. I never have in 10 years. So please do it for me now. And without further ado, let's get right into the video with my partner in crime, Jay Easy. <clears throat> and we would normally say Leto here, but it's me. So me. If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I would tell you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. Appreciate it, Leto man. Hey, look, man, if y'all want Star Leto to open the show up every day. Let me know down in the comments. Put a one down there if you want them to open it up every day. Put a two down there if you don't. Also, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it, man. I, I figured I'd do something a little bit different. Everybody swear they different, but everybody doing the same thing. I can't cut it as this. I'm gonna make a play shot. I'm, I, I can't make a center. I can't do this. I can't do that. Man, whatever, man. I get tired of it. That's, that's the part of the 2K community that sickens me. But one thing that doesn't sicken me is Mike Wong has put out some information talking about, and this is hot off the press, it's too piping hot, some information talking about how we have a new shooting patch that's coming and some things that are actually gonna be in the shooting patch. Some things that you guys may not care about, but I care about it, and here it is. Check it out. There's a tip about the ideal aim point skewing from left or right based on how fast you initially throw this, he said throw, but I would say pull the shot stick. The functionality isn't yet, but will be patched in very soon. Gives more control to the player. Stay tuned. And this is pretty much what he's talking about right here. Listen up. Of the window, the higher chance you'll have of making the shot. Deflecting the stick slowly will cause the ideal aim point to start more to the left on the meter, while deflecting quickly will move it to the right. It's important to have a consistent rhythm when starting a shot so you can anticipate where to aim. The target window itself will also resize based on the player's ability, shooting range, and how well the shot is contested. So as always, hunt for high quality open looks to maximize your chances. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty much all he had to say about that, man. Look, more or less what he's saying is, if you use the shot stick, if you're a shot stick user, you part of the shot stick gang or whatever, you, you know that when you pull the stick down, it's either gonna show up to the left or to the right. I never knew what made it go left or right or why it appeared where it appeared, right? But now Mike is saying that it's supposed to be controlled by the speed with which you pull it down. If you yank the stick down, it's supposed to it's supposed to come up on the right hand side, the uh, meter, and uh, that's how we treating our sinners that stand in the middle of the paint too. From now on, just just to let you know, T, help is on the way. You're going to be able to do that when you hit 99 if sinners just stand in the paint. So just hold on, my boy. If you made a shot creating slash or whatever. Just stay tuned. But you see how the stick came up right there on the right? That's supposed to happen when you pull the stick down um, quickly. Also, let me know if you guys have had issues with going for layups and it just snapping to the right or snapping to the left. Because my boy Man Man said that that's been happening to him. And if that's an issue, we need to get that to Mike as quickly as possible because that needs to be fixed as well. But anyway, and if you pull it down slowly, it's going to go to the left. I'm going to be honest with you. I have mastered moving the stick to the right. But I'm not as I'm not as 
good at moving it to the left. When it comes up on the left hand side, I'm not that good at it. I'm great when it's on the right. I can hit it green almost every single time if it appears on my right. But if it appears on my left, it's hard for me. So this is something that's definitely going to help me just because of the fact that it's like I can predict where it's going to come up. I can not, not only predict where it's going to come up, but I can also control where it's going to appear. And if I can do that, I can make it come up on the right side every time and I can probably very nearly, you see what I'm saying? When I have to go to the right, I can green almost every shot and it's dope. And, and like I said, we're going to put my badge set up, layout, and what I feel like is the best. Right now, right here, I didn't have all my badges. Now I have all my badges. That's why I didn't put out any tutorial videos. How, how do I look putting out a badge tutorial video saying get all your badges in one day and it's eight days into the game and I don't have my badges? Like, that's that's lame to me, man. But you know it is what it is. People do anything for views. Up next, man, um, Ronnie2k said that they're going to take fades out of the game, especially from three. I think that fades need to stay in the game from two. I'm cool with them in the game from two. I don't have a problem with them in the game from two. It's it's all good. But check out this clip right here where your boy is saying, am I going to have to defend this all year? And the question, I mean, look at I mean, you, you already getting clowned. And then my man going to run and fade. You can't defend that. How, how can you defend that? What do you even propose that you could do against that? I, I really don't know. It's just like somebody going to do that. And pretty much what he's saying is that was that that what this what we gotta this what we gotta do to try to defend all year i'm good on 2k21 i understand that uh if that's the case i can't i can't even move fast enough to contest most phase and when i do it still goes in patch play shots they're on every court for a reason and you're absolutely right about that the play shots are everywhere for a reason because they give you your you and your team the best chance to win Right here, we don't have a play shot. We normally keep one on us just because we need somebody that can spark that joint. Because what ends up happening when we play the game is they'll start leaving me open. I hit five or six shots. We'll get to 10 points. And then the, they'll say, okay, well, center stay in the paint. And then they'll put the other person on me. And because the other person is on me, they'll leave Brazi wide open if you don't have a shooter, like right there. And then, you know, it's, it just ends up being a cluster, a cluster buck or whatever you want to call it. So you definitely need play shots in the game. But look, bro, like, look at that right there. Uh, if I can, predict, like I said, if I can pull it down, it's almost dead center almost every time. But if I'm able to predict where it comes up, that's going to be dope. But yeah, like, like that's something right there. Phase from two, I really don't have a problem with. You can fade from two. I never had a real problem with people fading from two just because of the fact that that's how basketball is set up. That's how I play the game for real. I hit you with a one-step pull-up and I shoot the ball. I run to the corner and I might fade and try to throw it in or something like that. So that's how people play basketball for real. What The problem is that you can't really contest those shots. People are taking those shots and they're saying like, you know, like 5%, 6% contested. And they are very, very contested shots. Those are the problems that people have with it. But it is what it is. Like we said, running 2K, has already been quoted in saying that this is going to be changed. It's going to be patched out in the next joint. And uh, we're not going to have to worry about it all year. Like I said, phase from two, I really got no problem with because the the way that the mid-range is set up, you almost have to fade from two, especially with the way that they let people catch up on defense and stuff like that this year. But defense is a whole nother thing. We'll talk about that later. But phase from two, no problem. Phase from three, they got to be gone. The game started out like this last year. You had to have a shooter shooter to even play park and phase from three went in by the by the middle of the year everybody could shoot and you didn't even have you couldn't even fade from three and hardly anybody even faded from two so that's what we're going to be left with by the end of the year i'm pretty sure anyway you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section do you think that phase are good do you think phase from two are good and phase from three or what need to be gone do you think phase from from two need to be gone i personally hope they don't they don't take phase from two to, to be gone because i'm way too good at it and it just works way too well for me man it's just like fading from two if a center wants to sit in the paint i just run i fade from two boom it, it gives me so many other weapons that i can use or what have it so maybe i just need to put on deep fades or difficult shots or something like that i could do that so that wouldn't be a big deal but you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section phase from two need to be gone phase from three let's get this video to a thousand likes in the first 24 hours let me know down in down in the comment section also you know uh if your shot stick is snapping to the right when you try to go do a layup and uh you know we can try to get the information to mike as soon as possible other than that I'm going to holler at y'all next time, man. Till next time. That's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. God, speak! It don't make cash and it don't make sense Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion So in that sense, I never value your two cents Hey, darn, please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn Cause I ain't fine I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga I could give a heart transplant to a giant I ain't lying, God speak, God speak, God speak.
We good.